five hours go by pretty fast when we're working together, Wamby. And now that the avalanche is cleared away, we can go explore the top of the mountain. Trivi, I'm almost 50, and my back's at least 100. Let's go lie down for a spell. Get off this mountain for the sake of your health and well-being. Trust me, I'm a doctor. You... you know me? Oh, oh, you're the reporter! The one Liz was always talking about. I didn't think you'd really come out here. If another earthquake strikes, it'll cause an avalanche. If you're up here when that happens, you'll be buried in snow. And if you don't die from blood force trauma, you'll asphyxiate. I can handle it. I've been up here for weeks on my own, doing fine. I'm surviving. No, not until I find Liz. We... we were exploring the mountain. There was an earthquake, and we got separated. Just go back home, okay? Be safe, and please, don't tell anybody I'm up here. this out. Just think like Liz. Ah! Stop sneaking up on me or I'll quarantine you! Well, it's a big mysterious door, and I want to open it. There's some kind of weird lock on it. Liz figured it out, but I don't know what happened to her notes. I've almost got it, I swear. I just need to get into Liz's headspace. Oh my grump, where'd you find this? Good work. Was her writing always this sloppy? It's not doctor bad, but still. Oh, huh. Liz says I'll need to activate these statues by feeding them the snack they represent. Thanks for the help. I'll take it from here. Fine. You catch half. I'll catch the other half, and we'll meet back here. Sound good? Good. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
You're okay. You are okay, right? No drowsiness, numbness, or missing limbs? Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, don't mind me. I got the rest of the snacks. Okay. Next she says... Oh. She says we need three grumpuses to do the final step. No. This mountain is unstable. The more of us there are stomping around up here, the more likely it is we'll cause a disaster. I can't let anybody else get hurt for my sake. I feel bad enough involving you. Oh, what would Lisbert do? Ask Philbo. Liz trusts Philbo for some reason. I'll wait for you here. Watch your step on the way back down, okay? <laughs> You do? With what? <gasps> really? Oh, buddy, say no more. I am there. This is a, this is, this is a big mountain, huh? A lot of, oh, a lot of steps. Oh, Grump, I knew this was a bad idea. Oh, no, I'm fine, really. Oh, hey, you look just like my friend Agabel. Agabel, oh, it's really you. Oh, you're here, alive and not dead. Yes, it's me, Philbo. Calm down, you'll hyperventilate. Huh? Oh, okay. Okay, uh, yeah. Um, oh. are you coming back to Snacksburg? Come on, get up. Let's get this door open before altitude sickness kicks in. Oh, Agabel, it's so good to see you. I can't believe you've been up here all this time. You're so, uh, different. That's right. The soft little Agabel you knew is gone. Yeah, you really came out of your shell, huh? <laughs> hey, um, so why do you want my help? I thought you would have asked Chandlo. Chandlo's got Snorpy to worry about. Besides, you've been following Liz around for years. What? I don't follow her around? Uh-huh. Point is, I know you care. And since I need three grumps, you might as well be one of them. Whoa, what is that thing? Liz thought it might be some kind of ancient temple to bug snacks. Oh, uh, wait a minute. If this door takes three of us to open, how would Lizbert get inside by herself? What makes you think she's behind it? Because she has to be. I looked everywhere else. Well, it, it definitely looks important. How do we, uh, get in? Right. We need to stand here, here, and here. On three, we push. This is it. Ready? One, two, three! Oh, Grump! I could have killed us all! What did I do wrong? Hey, hey, it's okay, Agabel. That was kind of scary, but we're fine. We'll just try it again and- No, I'll try it again. You two are going home. Agabel, I want to find Lisbert just as badly as you do. You don't have to do this alone. Yes, I do. I'm a burden to everybody around me. 
That's why she's gone! W what do you mean? I was being stupid, and I slipped up on the cliffs while I was trying to show off. The earthquake hit, and, and I was gonna fall, but Liz saved me, like she always does. She got swept away, and then the ground opened beneath her, and it, it swallowed her up. I'm so sorry, Agabelle. Don't be. I'm used to it. Please, just go. I can't stand to see anyone else hurt. <laughs> you know, when I was looking for Lizbert, I got really hungry. I, I couldn't catch bug snacks, so I tried eating this purple flower, but then I threw up. And then I went blind for a bit, and then I fell in a hole. And, and by the time I dragged myself out of there, I, I was so tired and hungry I could barely move. That's when we met, buddy. Philpo, th that's awful. <laughs> it was. Because, you know, I, I can't make it on my own like you and Lisbert. And it's times like those when I could really use a doctor. <laughs> Alright. I get it. I need some time to think. I still want to figure out what I got wrong. When I do, I'll come find you. And then we'll find Liz together. Thank you, Philbo. Stay safe.